Welcome to Woodson IDE video tutorial part 3. This time I talk about the configuration of the editor, which is actually the most frequently asked question and the most frequently occurring problem. Because if you do what I did in the first tutorial, you will be probably ending up like this. You have the source file typed in as I did and you press compile and you get exactly these error messages. So what's the reason behind that? Uh, as mentioned before, Eclipse chooses the editor and in Woodson IDE together with the editor you also choose the compiler based on the file extension. Here the file extension is ASM and the problem is there is more than one editor associated with ASM. If I double click on a text file it simply detects that the basic text editor is the right thing. If I double click on an ASM file it will find that Atari uh, compiler atasm is the right thing to choose. So you all can also see it from the icon but what's the what's the mechanics behind that? In Eclipse there you have editors, content types and file extensions. Associated with an editor is one or more content types it can open and the file content type is identified by a list of file extensions. Woodson IDE provides subclasses for the text editor that uh, extended with syntax completion, uh, syntax highlighting, completion and uh, an associated compiler. There for every editor you have a specific source file content type and its file extension and as mentioned before the same file extension can be used for more than one content type as it is the case for Atasm and METS and many others. Therefore there is one default you can configure for a file extension which editor to use when you simply double click a file. The editor is the bridge to the compiler and the compiler in turn via the preferences for the compiler knows afterwards which output runner shall be used to run the executable if it is a emulator or a script or whatever. So where do I find this in Eclipse? If you go to the preferences by the way, the preferences for Mac OS you will find in that normal Apple preferences menu. If you go to the preferences and you search for content types, you can find this hierarchy of content types, the basic text file, which is subclassed by grouping content types like Atari 8-bit source file or C64 source file. You can drill down and you see there are three different source content types for each one for each compiler. You can here see the associated file extension. You can see that it's used twice ASM. XASM has another default file extension. ECMI for C64 also has a very specific file extension. And where is this used? You can click on file associations or search here via file associations and now you see it the other way around. For this file extension there is this list of available editors to open the file. And here you see that Atasm is the default. You can change the default. I will do this later. For now let's look what else we can do. We can of course simply go and change the syntax if we are aware that we are working with Atasm. We can change the comment syntax to a semicolon. We can change the org statement to a star assignment and we can change this uh, run address specification like that. Now hopefully if I press compile and run it compiles and runs. So that was nice. I changed the compiler but normally I probably don't want that. Uh, I want to use my standard compiler which is METS and if I double click here I have the... Uh, you already see that it has used the uh, right compiler. Why is this magic? Yeah, this is simple. I did it before. How can I really achieve it? I can go to the preferences and I click on METS and I set it to default. It becomes the first one and if I now click OK it takes a minute you will shortly see why. Because it has now analyzed all the resources and has reassigned the correct content type. Now if I click on this file it will correctly open up 
as maths and if I click on that one it will again look strange because now it also assumes that it's maths. Oh no, it didn't. But why? Okay, this is as I mentioned just the default. You can at any time override this default which is relevant for the open action by choosing the open with action. And if I now select maths here it will open this file as maths. If I close it and I double click it again Eclipse has remembered which was the last used editor. This way I can also use a source file, a simple text file. And you see there is no highlighting at all. So when is this useful? It is useful if you have sources from different compilers uh, in your source tree. Um, you don't need to change the preferences each and every time. You don't need to adapt the sources if you don't want. Um, Woodson IDE started with Atasm as the main compiler. The reason is that it's a very simple compiler, yet it's very complete and powerful. And it comes with a very nice online help in PDF format, which allows you to start right away. It explains, explains all compiler options and it is available in English. Uh, on the other hand, meanwhile the default compiler for Woodson IDE is Mats. Mets is a very powerful compiler with hierarchical nesting of source structures. The downside is that the available help is currently only in Polish language. Uh, despite of that, the archive also contains an English translation and you will find a quite okay English translation on Atari H. Okay, that's it for this recording. See you in the next tutorial. Bye!